All right, guys. So I just made a video about the opportunity that's coming up because of the legal documents that I'll be filing and sending to Mullen Automotive. And I think some people might look at that as market manipulation. Um, back when the AMC squeeze was happening, a lot of people call like we're trying to say I'm just like Martin Shkreli with what I was doing with AMC telling the world how obvious it was going to squeeze for three or four months most days I was doing eight hours at a day on live stream letting people call in just going over all the math and everything I could find um, critiquing everyone else out there that wasn't talking about what I was talking about and Like everything that I'm doing right now with the sue the sue a, a publicly traded company, um, the cease and desist while promoting the squeeze and still buying Mullen, like it's never happened before. No one's ever sued a company and still invested in the company. They sued because they sold because they like, and they were mad that they lost and sold for a loss, and so. The lawyer that I was talking to, like, I mean, the way he was talking, it seems like he's pretty confident that there's going to be some type of retaliation towards me, whether it's from the SEC or a counter lawsuit from Mullen Automotive. Who knows? Um, and I'm not worried about it. Like, when that, if that comes, when it comes, like, I'll handle it just like I handled the Mullen lawsuit. And so, uh, it'll be fine. But... I guess I just wanted to kind of go over like the risk that I'm taking and anyone out there that's still hating that especially if you're invested in Mullen like if you don't like the way that I've talked if you don't like the way that I promote Mullen Automotive like get over it bro this is so much more important than any of that and for all my faults the only thing that you know for fact is that I am a rare breed and I, I march to the beat of my own drum. You know nobody is controlling the words that come out of my mouth but me. So please strongly consider joining this. I'm still long on mowing. Like the only thing that I want to do is I want to get you back your 50% ownership. I either want those 1.75 billion shares erased off the books or I want them dispersed between whoever joins me in the lawsuit equal to the percentage of the Mullen stockholder that you were and probably only in comparison to the people that joined the lawsuit which means you may like if only 10% of the Mullen investors show up that means they're going to get 100% of the reward split up between themselves so you're probably going to get way more than you imagine honestly Oh man, any way this goes, it's going to be perfect for us. Mullen Automotive is the tech, not like they, they went so far to protect this company, to protect retail from owning it. After AMC squoze, AMC is still owned by retail by 60%. They can't have that for Mullen because Mullen's got an unlimited future growth. And they can't let retail own 60% of that unlimited growth. And so, yeah, I love Mullen, and I want to own Mullen, and I want to own it with you guys, and like, collectively, we just make it the best company it can be, and if that is with David Mishery or not, it doesn't matter. Like, David Mishery is not the kingpin behind everything going on. Like, we, like, he might be one of the best dudes ever, and he's just forced into a bad situation. You don't know. Yeah, but it doesn't, like, we can find that out later. Once we win this crap, we can go and we can talk to him and we can see what he's really about. And if he can help contribute, I mean, the dude's been mobile business stuff for freaking two decades. Like, we'll take all the help we can get. 